I'm just going to import these folders one by one. So I'm going to go to File, Import. I'm going to go into my CinePunch folder. And starting with Anamorphic Creams, going to my Anamorphic Creams. Just highlight it, hit the Import button. And that's going to import all the assets for Anamorphic Creams. Go to my CineDust folder. So I'm going to go to File, Import. Just highlight it, hit the import button. Okay, everything's there. Just double click. So now once you've had all your elements and assets imported into your library, you can save it. And then we can import this into any other project we may be working on. So in this case, I'm actually going to open up a project in 2019. And when I want to import my CinePunch folder, I'm just going to go to File, Import. And I'm going to select that Premiere project, CinePunch project, Import Entire Project. There you go. So now you can start to play. And in this case, a lot of these big packs are going to be either background designs, uh, sound effects, of course, uh, or overlays onto your videos. So I'm just going to kind of run through these really quick. So I'm going to open up uh, Glam here. Let me just switch to uh, preview mode. And I'm just going to grab something, drag and drop on here. Now, some of these are going to be really long, so you're going to have a lot of time to play with and have all different elements just per shot. But I'm just going to lay this over and trim it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select my mat. And I'm going to change a blending mode to add. Yeah, you can just see quickly that the effects are going to overlay right on top of the footage. And I can just expand this a little bit, slide this over. And you can start to just play around. In this case, I'm going to mess around and stack some just to show you how uh, quick you can harness certain effects on top of your footage. Going to Fractal. I'm just going to grab something quick. Just double click. I'm going to make an in and out point on this shot here. And drag and drop it on top. And I'm going to change a blending mode to add. And I'm just going to go into anamorphic creams, I'll grab a uh, Lomo lens flare. And these are real anamorphic flares here. I'm going to double click on this. And again, just make an in point and an out point, drag and drop. I'm just going to drag this over. And again, highlight the Mac, go to my effects control and change the blending mode to add. And you can see I'm stacking a bunch of different mats very quickly here. And again, as you can see, you can stack these effects, get all different looks of uh, whatever design scheme you're looking for per shot or for your film or video. And I'm going to grab maybe some grain mats from my Filmmaker VFX suite. And I'm just going to get something rough and dirty so that you can better see it here. And if I lay this mat on top of my footage, you can see on the nested sequence, we have a, a ton of room. This is uh, in the case that you want to overlay it onto a more elongated video. I think it's about 10 minutes for the nested sequences. And you do have the individual grain mats. So in this case, I'm just grabbing the nested sequence. So I got to cut this, of course, on the shot. Delete that. And then I'm just going to highlight my grain mat here. And I'm going to go into my effect controls. Scale it to frame size. And I might just have to uh, change this a little bit. I'm going to change the blending mode in this case to multiply. And I'm using a, a 
grainy filter right here so it's a little bit dark but you want to change the opacity that's about it now go play around experiment create enjoy <laughs>